Simran. Welcome to Cooking My Passion. Let's make sukha chicken today. So for that you'll need two medium onion sliced, three fourth cup of yogurt, salt to taste, half a teaspoon of red chilli powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon garam masala, one teaspoon cumin seeds and half a teaspoon of dry roasted cumin seed powder, half a teaspoon of dry mango powder, that is amchur, 6 to 8 peppercorns, also known as kali mirch, 1 tablespoon of fenugreek leaves, that is kasuri methi, 1 kg chicken, I am using with bones, half a teaspoon of garlic grated, and 1 teaspoon of ginger grated. So let's start by marinating the chicken first. Add chicken pieces in a bowl. Now add garlic and grated ginger to it, and 1 teaspoon of salt approximately. Mix it thoroughly. Now I'm using my washed hands to mix the ginger garlic paste and the chicken pieces. When you're touching the raw meat, make sure to wash your hands immediately after that with lukewarm water and soap. Now I'm just wrapping the bowl with the cling film and will be refrigerating it for 2 to 3 hours. So the chicken has been resting for 3 hours now. So we'll heat a pan, add oil to it. And to this, add cumin seeds and let it splutter. Add peppercorns and now I'll be adding the onions. Now give it a nice mix. Cook the onions on a medium flame and don't let it burn. Add green chilies to it. And again mix it. Now you have to cook the onions till you get a very good golden brown colour. So it's been approximately 5 minutes and you can see that the colour of the onions is changing. From the tips they have started to become golden brown. So we will just cook it for some more time. So now this is the colour that we want for the onions. So go ahead and switch off the gas and let it come at room temperature. Once the onions are at room temperature, transfer them to the blender and add curd to it. Now you have to grind it to a smooth paste. See it's a fine paste now. You just have to keep this aside. Now in the same pan, Add about 2 tablespoons of oil and add the chicken pieces to it. You have to cook the chicken pieces on a very high flame till the time they turn white. Once it's white from one side you just have to flip the pieces. This step is very important because by doing this the chicken juices will be sealed inside and the chicken will remain very tender and moist. Now to this. Add coriander powder, red chilli and the garam masala. Now you have to mix all the chicken pieces well and coat all the masala. At this stage you can add the onion and the curd mixture and give it a nice mix. In the same blender I added half a cup of water and now this water goes in the chicken. Just cook it like this for 10 minutes and now cover the chicken and keep the gas on medium and let it cook. Keep stirring it in between because at any point of time you don't want your chicken to get burned. Now to this I am adding fenugreek leaves that is kasuri methi. You just have to crush it in between your palms and add it. Just cover it again and cook it till the time it's completely cooked and tender. Now I'm adding half of the coriander at this stage and the remaining I'll be using for garnishing. Now you can see that the whiteness of the curd has gone and the chicken has become brown. So this is what exactly we are looking for. 
now just remove the lid and cook it like this for some time because you want it to be completely dry now you can see that the chicken is cooked properly the oil has also oozed out now at this stage you can just cut a piece from the chicken piece and see if it's not raw the chicken should not be pink it should be white that is the indication that the chicken is cooked garnish it with coriander now I just added a little bit of red chilli powder, cumin seed powder and dry mango powder to it now just give it a mix you can just enjoy this chicken as is like a snack or you can have it with chapati or any bread of your choice so chicken sukha is ready do give this recipe a try and let us know how it turned out for you thumbs up if you've liked the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel good luck and thanks for watching